Let's see. Let's read. That. 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 Whatever does that mean? Yes? You got the book, eh? Good for you. I've given up trying to deal with her for now. I'll tell you what. I'll take the book, and then if you can read me the inscriptions, I'll see if I can find the translations for them. Okay. Now that I have the book, I can try and translate what's on the walls here. You just read the inscriptions. Let me know what they say. Ah, yes. Okay. What do you need translated? That. According to this, it translates to, from fire, life. Fire it is, then. Anything else? So need f we need a fire spell? Mafre seems to translate to frost, so a spell with frost damage should work for it. Anything else? Frost? It means magicka shines. And taken in context with the other inscription about magicka darkening, perhaps there's an alternate translation. If we assume it means magicka waxes, then a spell increasing magicka might be what we need. Something that fortifies it, perhaps. Fortify magicka and... It means magicka darkens. Considering the other inscription, it could be translated to mean magicka wanes, along with magicka waxes. Perhaps a spell that damages magicka is what you're looking for. And damage magicka. Okay. Fire, frost, this is fortify, don't you think? magicka, and damage magicka. That's the spells we need. Now, I have a fire spell. You start the game with the, uh, the, where is it? Flare, I think? Yeah, flare, so... You absolutely will have a fire spell, but... Well, I don't have destruction skill, and I don't have a frost spell, so... What do I do? Well, if you open this here chest... You'll find... Flare... Snowball... Sever Magicka... And Elevate Magicka. You need to have an on target or on touch... Fortify Magicka spell, and you are very unlikely to have such a thing because it is otherwise useless. So, that's where the scroll comes in. If you waste it, by the way, you can go outside of this here cave slash ruin, wait for three days, and the chest will have, would have respawned. So, there. Anyway. I'm pretty sure you need to do this in a particular order. But I only have one set of scrolls. Can I just jump over that? Mm, yes, pretty easily I can jump over that. Yep, yeah, but you absolutely must. Let's see, let's try the Sever Mat. No, let's Elevate Magicka. Fudge me. Okay, um... Sever Magicka, then. That's a touch spell, you absolute idiot. Actually, it looks like a snowball. What other simple tasks shall I fail next? Well, there you go. You were stuck on it for... A long ass time, and there you go. I just... Oh, I could have jumped that. Now, I'm not even going to talk to those guys to confirm it, but yes, you are going to have to go in here and find the, uh, whatever you can find in here. I'm not going to complain this time, because in their defense, depending on what level you are, there are some really powerful, ethereal, 
undead here, and they are no joke. There. A hit from me, and that didn't kill it. So, you can imagine how difficult it would be to just defeat him with regular magic. It's certainly possible, it just takes a moment. And there's an obvious trap that activates when we jump over it. How did these aliens go extinct? They... they their traps are magic. What the heck was... Oh, bullshit. But yeah, they had magic traps that automatically activate if some... someone that should be hit jumps over the plate. It... what? I really hate how these guys take two hits. Oh yeah, that's Gloom Braves for you. An alternative for me would be to sneak through, or another alternative for me would be to use Blessed Word, but killing these guys works just enough. There's treasure over here. I can also jump over this one, but since this one goes into the ceiling... Thank you. Jumping isn't gonna help much. Oh god, these things hurt. Yeah, that's a very good argument against uh, those two other guys trying to go through here because I... If I get hurt this, this much, a uh, squishy mage is just, gonna, is just gonna drop dead. Another fucking gloom. Fucking die already. Yeah. Let's see, can I just jump up here? Easily. It does spawn a whole bunch of shit. Uh, those are liches. Liches, I don't know exactly what I'm what they're supposed to do since I just broke the game's script. Those guys have reflect magic, it would seem. That is bad. In addition to magic detection. I don't know if these guys have resist. Oh shit. Okay, you cannot attack that quick. Remember what I said about you doing it wrong if you're not, if you're getting hit by magic? Yeah, I'm about to get killed here. God's alive, I swear I put that on touch. Uh, oh, never. Maybe I need a break or something. The thing is, I just had a break. A rather lengthy one at that. That was interesting. Finally! I swear, that should not have been that difficult. It's just a problem when you rely on sneak attacks. As soon as you get into a scripted fight like that, well, you just die. Also, Ancient Elven Helm. That is the item we were sent to find here, and... 
pretty much an exact copy of elven helmets that you can find randomly on bandits. Except ancient. You guys I'm not gonna bother with. Unless you... Oh my. Stop me from stealing these things. Then I'm gonna cast a spell on you. This thing trapped. No. Kill potent toll. I imagine these tomes being much more useful if I had, you know, blue glass boots. If I were a mage, but I might be able to use the spells. That's a nice bonus. Come on. Get over it. Thank you. I'm gonna leave the Gloom Brace with you two. I'm pretty sure the Mage's Guild sends some powerful mages to deal what with them. What do you want now? What's that you have there? That looks important, whatever it is. I think you've really found something. I don't. You'd best get that to Erlov back at the Imperial City as soon as possible. He'll want the mages there to examine it more closely. What a waste of my talents. See, even mages don't know that you can find these helmets all over the place. They don't fight bandits. No, they fight necromancers. Whatever. This quest thus far has been an embarrassment. And not on Befaced us, uh, aside for once. So let's just go back to the Imperial City and forget this ever happened. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I'll get what I want ah, soon enough. You must be the they will eventually stop saying that. You. You should be helping your love, Jerol, shouldn't you? Ah, right. Good point. Thank you. Good luck. What's this? Some sort of alien artifact? No, it's an alien well, well. helmet. Romanus was right in sending you out there. <laughs> good work. I'll be sure and put in a good word for you. Yeah, I just don't... Take care. ...put emphasis on my patience. How I don't have you? any. Good work at Vatican. Jorol is quite pleased with the information now coming in about the site. There is another predicament which I believe you can also help resolve, if you feel ready for it. Yes. Excellent. You have become most reliable, and I assure you that the Council appreciates it. Now, to the matter at hand. In order to deal with the apparent growing problem of necromancers in Cyrodiil, the Council needs as much information as possible. The mystic archives have been consulted with minimal success. Guild members are investigating other avenues, but I believe more can be learned here. Um, what do we need to do? I'd like you to speak with Tarmina at the Mystic Archives. She is our specialist on Magica Arcana and has been helping gather information. I believe we have been asking her the wrong questions, taxing her too much with vague attempts to make sense of all that we know. Speak with her specifically about these black soul gems, if she knows anything about their powers or creation. An insight into their origins may lead us to those who are responsible for them. Of course I know that already, but... As as Necromancer's Moon. Yeah, we need to talk to a few people, do some stuff, the usual. It's worth it, though. Greetings, Evoker. Uh, look, if you're here for information, I'm afraid you'll have to find it on your own. I'm swamped right now, up to my ears in necromancy. Not practicing it, mind you. Wouldn't want anyone to think I was involved in that sort of thing. I simply meant researching it. I was sent to see you. Oh, of course you were. No doubt the Council is trying to get you to bother me further. I ran Karanya out of here just a short while ago and told them to leave me alone. 
I keep telling them, I can't produce results if I'm not given any time. I'm not used to working under conditions like this. Black Soul Gems. Hmm. Now that is a bit more specific. Finally, something I can respond to. Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes, there's one obscure text that references these gems. I believe it's still around here someplace. Unless Falkar never returned it. The name of the book is Necromancer's Moon. I'm unclear on the origins of the text, but it does involve these gems you're interested in. I'm afraid you'll have to find it yourself. I'm so out of sorts with all these requests. I've lost track of most everything. It's very distressing. Not really. I forget everything all the time, jeez. You too. Anyway, the book is right here. So Falcar borrowed this, huh? Anyway. Do we need to take the book? So wait, wait do we need to consult with her about it? Apparently. It's my pleasure. Please continue. A most interesting text, is it not? We are fortunate that at least one necromancer took the time to record the information. I am unfamiliar with the shade of the revenant described within the book, but I was never one to dabble in the more, shall we say, amoral arts. You may take that with you for now, if you wish. The council may have use for it. Please, ask them to return it quickly, as I may need it again. We will, of course, never return it. Farewell. Unless it gets taken from us. Otherwise, it's gonna be somewhere in Skingrad or Bruma. Anyway, Please. you. Has Tarmina been of use in gathering information about the Necromancers? Sort of, maybe. Excellent work. I believe this will be of use to the Council. I shall make sure they're made aware of its contents. They don't know? Hmm. I've never heard of this Shade of the Revenant. Some sort of celestial phenomenon? Sort of. If that's correct, then Bothiel would most likely know something about it, as the caretaker of the Orrery. She should be on university grounds. Of course, if you do have the Imperial Orrery DLC... Bye. She breaks! And the quest is broken. Talk. Come on. Hello there. Is there something I can do for you? Shade of the Revenant. Revenant, you say? And it represents something in the heavens? It sounds familiar. Let me think. Ah, yes. Now I remember. Falcar was here some time ago asking about just such a thing. Said it was for research. He had a large sheaf of notes with him about it. I'm afraid I didn't have any more advice for him than I do for you. With the Ori in such a state of disrepair, I have no point of reference. Falcar did leave this behind. I think it fell from his notes as he left. I didn't pay it much attention, but perhaps it will be of use to you. At least the Ori is... Farewell. Oh, fuck it. The Ori doesn't exist.